Hey guys, so uh, I saw someone with an 8750 that was showing um, basically how it should be operating. So I've now decided to open up the 8750 model and try to do the heatsink mod. Uh, there was actually, there were actually was a, uh, you can't see here, right there. You gotta focus. Let's get an angle. There it is. And it's actually a microphone. I didn't think that there was a microphone, but there actually is a little hole for it right there. So it does have a microphone. I didn't know that. Um, so this is the inside. You can see the fan. There's a 6700 milliamp hour battery. There's the connector for the battery, and then there's the connector for the switch for the fan. So you just gotta, we, gotta dis we have to take that off, and we have to take that off, and then there's gonna be a bunch of screws and shit. This back case will come off. You have to take it off. I'll show you at the end of the video, but this is like part one of it. We'll do more later. All right, so we got the bottom case off, and you can see it's right here. I, I put the screws in the shell. Uh, the battery is really beefy, but that, that's that. So I started disconnecting some things. I lifted up these little, uh, I don't actually know what they're called, but they're, they have a variety of different ways of flipping up or down. I can just focus a little bit better there, camera. If you can just see it right here, this this flips upward, so you have to flip both of them up to release this ribbon cable. I don't know what these are called, but they have a variety of different ways. Some of them have like little latches on the sides where you have to kind of like edge them down to release. Uh, some of them flip up, some of them flip up different ways. You have to be pretty careful with these, but um, just generally look, look how you want to do that. Um, another thing to note is, let's get some light in here. On the motherboard itself, the there's an arrow indicating, I guess, the active wire, not the ground. So you can also see it over here. So if you do take yours apart when you're putting the wires back in, you can put it over here. And these wires just pop out like this. So it's it, you don't pull it out this way, it pops up. So you want to get underneath it and pull it up. And likewise, when you're going to put it back down, you're going to, you're going to put, push it down that way. Uh, these are the analog. Here's the display cable. Uh, and there's just a bunch of screws holding in the heatsink. Uh, and we're gonna take all that stuff, and I'll try to make sure I know where these are. These are the the shoulder pads for the buttons. They have a nice little spring tension contact right here, which is a, a really nice design, so that you don't have to worry about taking out the shoulder buttons. So that's it so far. We'll go a little bit deeper. All right. So. Uh, it's actually kind of nice that all of the screws are pretty much the same. Uh, the four, the six screws that, that hold the case together are, are those. Every other screw is basically this same size. So everywhere that you, you know, take a picture if you need to when you're opening it up so you remember where those, where all the screws go. Uh, these two hold down the analog sticks and I've placed my analog sticks right and left how it appears like this. And then these two long screws are for the fan this side. So aside from that, um, basically this is the LCD cable, the Wi-Fi cables you can just lift on the side. Also, they really designed this really nice because there's these channels where the Wi-Fi goes in, so it's nice and neat. It's not like dangling around. Um, and that's it. There's this other little thing that you got to flip up right over here. Um, that's it. That's. This is, which is this one? There's the battery. Oh, this is the speaker. This is the speaker. And the fan is over here, which you can already see is already popped up. This one is a little delicate when you're taking it out. Be careful when you take that out. But other than that, we totally got this sucker out. So I'm gonna try, and I have some copper shims ready. Whoa. I have some copper shims ready. But there's the heat sink. So I'm gonna take a look at it and see what's going on. I'm gonna take a look at the business end of there. You can see the buttons and the membrane. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna take this part off and see what happens. Give me a second. So holy shit. Uh, all the fucking things that I've been doing to this chip, uh, <laughs> and it's surviving is uh, kind of funny. So right here, what you can see right here, that's the Z8750. These are the Alpita 
These are your two gigabyte, two gigabyte chips. Here's your Realtek chip. This is your uh, audio. Here's your EMMC. This is your 64 gigs of RAM. This is the store. Uh, this is your controller. It's like Northbridge, Southbridge type thing, I, I believe. This is the APIC controller that is the switch, I believe. I actually don't know what this is. Um, if I had a guess, I, this is what I'm thinking that is. That's that D input, mouse keyboard, <clears throat> well, mouse mode, and um, also the X input. But anyway, so, holy shit. So first off, they just have this little bullshit tape here, right? Okay, so the thing is, is that they were trying to protect and insulate the copper from touching anything. So you can see this little film right here. The only thing is, the film covers the entire fucking thing. So they have this bullshit thermal tape on top of this fucking tape. So all of the thermal energy is fucking getting sapped up by this bullshit. I mean, holy shit. So I gotta fucking remove this. It's like sticky tape like crazy. I gotta remove this to get to the bare metal and then put the shim on top of that. Fuck me, man. So uh, two people now have said that their Metroid Prime video, Metroid Prime intros are better than the 8700. And I'm thinking this is this is the reason why. Well, good news is that we got to do the heatsink mod out of it, right? At least I got to open up this this fucking thing. I got to fucking pay, I got to pay six hundred dollars to do work. Ah, oh, fuck me. All right, so um, that this is gonna be part one. I'm gonna start working on this. I'm gonna upload this now, and I'm gonna put. Uh, you know, I have. I should I should really wait for the silver to come in. Um, I do have copper shims, but I do want to put a silver shim here. And, yeah, I think it'll be much better. We'll really get some heat sapped away from there. So, yeah, this is going to be part one, and part two will be me putting it on there, and then we'll run some tests and see if Metroid Prime isn't fixed.